Hello and welcome to another episode of Medieval Engineers Tutorial. Today we're going to be building a cart with a lock on it so it doesn't go rolling down the hills. So let's get started. Okay, now we're going to have to grab a couple things from our inventory. Uh, for this build we're going to need some square timbers, we're going to need some round timbers, we're going to need some wheels, and also we're going to need the catch block and a locking catch block. So that should be everything. We can get started on our build. Okay, now I'm going to start by building the base here. Again, make sure you don't, you have that hovering over uh, the ground before you place it so it doesn't stick in there. Build a little post to build our vehicle to get it up off the ground a bit. And then this vehicle really can be any size you want, but I'm just making it uh, with the 10 long timbers for now. So we'll connect it all up. There we go. Okay, now we're going to put our catch blocks on, and I always like facing them downward. Kind of gives it some more clearance off the ground. So place these two back here. Okay, and one more. There we go. Okay, now we're going to work on our locking device. Now that's what we have our locking catch blocks for. So we're going to place these timbers up here. Now I... Shoot, I didn't want to do it like that. Um... We want to be able to place that locking catch block, so we're going to place one right behind these catch blocks here. There we go, just like that. Okay, now we're going to place a, uh, the locking catch block on either side. Now, they'll face opposite directions, as you can see. So one of them will be for forward, and then one of them will lock for going backwards. We're going to place this timber in the center here, so then once we lock our catch block, it'll use two wheels and that'll create more friction on the ground and have it more likely to stop. Okay, then once we have that all put together, we can throw our wheels on. Make sure that they are put on the right direction. Yeah, there we go. Oh, of course, I place it on backwards the second I say to put it on the right direction. Okay, and it, this is the basic design, kind of a skeleton. You can put anything else you want on it. Now I'll make a little kind of a basket up front for us to run in to drag it along. Okay, now we got that. We can delete our frame here. And as you can see, it's moving with ease. Okay, we want to come behind it now and we want to lock it. This will allow us to go forward, but it will not allow it to go backwards. Seeing as we'll always be going forward for the most part, it should be safe to look have that locked the entire time. Okay, let's take it out to a hill here, and as you can see, we're running up the hill. Now, a normal cart would just roll backwards. Now, as you can see, we can walk forward, and then we can stop, and then it stays right there, not going anywhere. So that's what's kind of nice about this. Now, we're going inside of it, and we're going to unlock it. So we'll go down here, and we'll unlock the catch block. Okay, it's unlocked. As you can see, it starts moving backwards. So, if we didn't have that, that's what this would do all the time. Okay, now we're gonna take it up the hill, and I'm gonna show you what it's like when you don't have a catch block on here at all. So, as you can see, we are walking up, we jump out, and it just rolls down the hill. So, that's kinda why we did this design. Okay, now we're coming down a hill and we can turn around and if we want to lock it from coming down the hill we can access that really easily so you just come up to the lock and catch block you click it there we go and then we can jump out of here and as you can see it just sits on the hill all by itself okay and then if we want to go again we can jump back in it here we go if i can get in there okay and then we can unlock it and we can continue on our way Okay, so that's the basics of our cart with our brake. Thanks for joining us today, and hopefully we will see you on the next one. Have a good day. Well then. How about let's not try that. Well, here we go, starting over again, I guess.